Hi, my name is Hitesh and you are watching SQL Injection Master Course. Now, hope you are quite enjoying this series as it is quite in a depth of learning about SQL and SQL Injection as well. Of course, I expect all of you will use all of your knowledge for the practical aspects and that too with ethics and moral. Don't try to use all of this knowledge in injecting some websites and gaining out some data and likewise process. You can be in a deep trouble as performing a pen testing without uh, the knowledge of the owner or without getting a proper permission can lead you in a lots of trouble. So I expect uh, that much from you and also I expect that all of you purchase all of my courses from my original website hiteshchaudhary.com there is a learn from hitesh section and of course drop me an email to uh, know what are the discount policies right now going on. Uh, you can simply drop me an email for that and of course the prices are quite a low as uh, compared to other third party websites because I don't have actually to share most of the things uh, from my own website. So with this let's start our today's session and let me first of all open up our virtual machine. Okay so let me go to a full screen view. Okay so I hope it's a bit more visible. Now, what we are going to do in this uh, video? In this video, we are going to learn a few more advanced commands, not that much advanced. They are just pretty simple, but these functions are rarely being used by many of the programmers. And these are very interesting functions that you are going to apply in the upcoming videos. In this video, I'm not giving you any exercise file or any lesson file because this will come up in the next video. This video is just to give you the glimpse of those commands that are pretty short one and this video is going to be a pretty short one. So the first command that we have to, uh, of course, first we have to start everything up. Service Apache to start. And please start my MySQL as well. Oh my God, what am I doing these so much of typos? <laughs> okay, so now in order to start my SQL, we have to pass in a username that is root and we have to pass a password as well that is two. So here is my, my, uh, my SQL prompt running. So first of all, I'll type use security Use security is my first command, so change the database to the security. Now, after this, all these commands are going to be, first of all, you might sound up, hey, these are all ridiculous commands, and why and when am, ever I am going to actually learn and apply all these commands. So, answer is pretty simple, have patience. In the next chapter, we are going to apply all of them. So the first command is, let's say what happened if I do select database and apply a colon at the end, so it selects me a database. Of course, we all know that, and that's a pretty simple one. Now, what happen if I do something like this? Uh, I place all of this in a bracket, database in a bracket, and apply a function that says length. What happens then? Then it says me that, hey, Tej, the name of the security is actually eight character long. So that is pretty simple as well. Now. What happen if I again enclose all of this in some another function? Let's say if I enclose it in one more function and that function would be substring, S-U-B-S-T-R. Now, if you read out the document about the substring function, you will eventually find out that substring function actually takes three arguments. Now. I leave it as a small exercise for you to find out what are these three uh, arguments which this substring function is actually taking. And if you'll watch the video, you can eventually guess them as well. So substring and the first is this one and second is let's say one and third is also one. So, oops, I need to get rid of this length function actually. It's not working out as I thought. So let's get rid of this database and of course a bracket. Okay, so I hope eventually you have got an idea what this substring function actually does. It shortens out the name and I have given a three arguments which uh, string you want to apply. I have said the database from where we want to start and from where you want to add. So your problem of exercise is solved now. 
Okay, so uh, this is our pretty simple step, the substring function and command. Now, let us move ahead in a one more way and try to find out what happens when I enroll again all these things in the bracket. That means I, again I'm going to apply one more function and if I do that again and I apply a one more function that is let's say ASCII. Now let us just try and hit what happens when we do this. It gives me 115 and I hope you know that that 115 is act exactly similar ASCII value for S and if you don't know that try to Google use Google for this purpose. Now what happen if I ask the database that hey first of all I have asked what is actually the value so it gives me the value s. Now I asked him what is that s be equivalent in the ask I so it gives me 115. Now what happen if I ask it that is this value is equals to 115 it gives me a one that means a boolean result is being popped out that says okay that means you are true now what happened if i says to it that hey 115 instead of 115 is it equals to 110 it says no it is you are not correct this time okay what happens when i ask it is the value greater than 110 it says no it's not greater than uh, the value is actually not less than 110 what if i ask him is the value greater than 1110 it says 1. So I can assume my value is actually somewhere lining between uh, the exact 1110 and above values. So that was my goal behind the videos to give you uh, this uh, answer that yes you can sometime ask the database in the true and false format that is this a true is this a false and you can even dump the database entirely using this policy. Yes some of you might be saying hey do we all the times need to iterate for hold 26 times in order to find out the name of the database? And my answer would be, yes, you have to. Nobody is actually, uh, I never said hacking and web application testing was such an easy process, but of course you can find out the database in the similar fashion. There are lots of shortcuts as well, but definitely you have to iterate in these kinds of injection. So with this, let's end up this video. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, the blind injection in which we are going to use the same method which we have dumped the database right now on the command prompt and in the second video we are going to do with the application based console. So thank you so much for watching and keep enjoying the uh, security stuff and don't forget to drop me a feedback and visit my website hiteshchaudhary.com.